Ever wish you could travel back in time? Well, here's the next best thing. Hey guys, Steven here on My Life Outdoors. So you remember that time that Marty McFly traveled back in time and almost ended up dating his mom? Do you mind if I sit here? No, fine, no, good. Probably fine. not the best good. use of time travel, but that's got me thinking. If you could travel back in time and tell yourself anything, what would you tell yourself? Well, today I'm talking about three things about backpacking that I wish I would have known sooner. And while that may not be a better use of time travel than dating your mom, it is what this channel is all about. It's, it's about backpacking, it's not about dating your mom. So here are three things that I wish I would have realized sooner. And the first one is, how much weight you carry is important. Now, I mean, maybe this sounds obvious, but it's easy to say to yourself that it's only an ounce or, or it's only half a pound or it's only a pound. And it's easy to get your pack up to 40 or even 45 pounds pretty easily. Boy, that escalated quickly. And while carrying that much weight is possible, I've done it plenty of times, it isn't always the best. And there's a big debate between ultralight and traditional backpacking and which is better. But no matter which camp you fall into, it's hard to deny that how much weight you carry is important. Think about it this way, and, and I'm gonna borrow a metaphor from Darwin on the trail for a minute. Think about your car. It's likely that your car can pull a trailer and pull a trailer with no problem. But the more stuff that you put in that trailer, the more your car is going to struggle. Or at the very least, the more the engine is gonna to have to work and the more gas that you're going to use. And if the car starts going uphill, well, it's gonna bog down. The same thing happens to you when you load your pack. The more that you try to carry, the more that you're going to bog down and the faster that you're gonna run out of gas. And one of the things that I wish I would have realized sooner is just because I can carry a heavier load doesn't mean that I should. But number two is you don't have to obsess overweight. Okay, here's the deal. I'm, once you start looking at the weight of everything, it, it's really pretty hard to stop. Still to this day, when I'm looking at buying a new piece of gear, the very first thing I do is I scroll down past all the pictures and the description and I click on the tech specs to see how much the thing weighs. And while weight is important, it isn't the most important. If you go back to the trailer metaphor, if you're going on a trip and you need something that won't fit in your car's trunk, or even if you just want something that won't fit in the trunk, a trailer is a really good option. You just don't wanna put more in your trailer than your car is intended to pull. So the second thing that I wish I would've realized sooner is just because weight is important doesn't mean that it's the most important. And that brings me to number three. Tailor your gear to your hike, not your hike to your gear. So there have been a few times that, that I've been planning a hike and, and I found a destination that I wanted to get to, but I felt like the miles and elevation was just too much with the gear that, that I typically carry or that I wanted to carry for that hike. And unfortunately, instead of trying to lighten my load so that I could cover more miles and get where I wanted to go, instead, I just started looking for a new destination. I was changing my hike to fit my gear when I should have been changing my gear to fit my hike. Look, sometimes you may want to cover big miles and when you do, you need to pack light. And then there are gonna be days that you wanna just hike in a few miles and maybe cook a steak over the fire or drink a cold one. And both are okay. The important thing is to tailor your gear to your hike, not the other way around. So there you have it. Three things that I wish I would have realized sooner. But what about you? What do you wish that you knew sooner? Leave me a comment below. And for even more great backpacking advice, check out some of the comments below because sometimes the best advice comes from the people in this community. So leave me a comment or respond to somebody else's. If you haven't done so already, please consider subscribing. And if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. And as always, thanks for watching.